Today is 5 1. We're subtracting tens and ones on a hundreds chart. And they provided a hundreds chart for you right next door here. And this is kind of going to be your go to resource to answer some of the practice questions here. A little bit of algebra down at the bottom. And then a preview on the back. You've got some story problems again that are related to this hundreds chart. So that's your tool you're going to be using throughout this lesson today using the hundreds charts to add and subtract tens of ones. First question up at the top, 54 minus 7. I'm going to use different colors throughout this. You don't have to. You can just use a pencil. I'm going to show you a strategy. You're going to get, get some independent practice down here, and then we'll do a little algebra together. And you're going to get a chance to do the back on your own. But 54 minus 7, first thing I would do is 54 take away 7 minus means take away, subtract. So we're going to be hopping back, 54 minus 7. Then circle 54 with your pencil and your crayon, and, you, and hop it back 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Double check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now this hundred star is going to be used for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven problems. My suggestion to you is not make a mess of it the first equation. Otherwise you're going to have a hard time reading it for problems later on. So 54 minus 7, 47. Go ahead and write that in. Next one, we got 96 minus 63. So a couple different ways you can use the hundreds chart to solve these. The first way I showed you was just literally starting at 54 and then counting back 7. Uh, I'll show you again the same strategy. If we started at 54, 96 is your bigger number. 96 minus 63. I'm going to circle 96. That's how I'm just going to use a pencil. And then I need to go back 63. Now, it would take me all day if I'm going to count back 63 numbers. Chances are I'm going to make a mistake. So, looking at 63, I know I have to count back six tens. Six tens. When you're subtracting by ones, you're going left on the hundreds chart. When you're subtracting by tens, you're going up. So, 96 minus 63, 60, it would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Great, but I just did 60, but I also need to do 63. And we know that three ones in the ones place is going to the left. One, two, three. Double check. Six tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Three ones. One, two, three. Did double check. Know that I landed on thirty-three. Three ones. Thirty-three. So the strategy, again, I'm, I'm, we're going to focus on today, and we'll, I'll teach you another one tomorrow. Start with the bigger number. Count back. Forty-five minus twenty-two. Start at forty-five. I'll do a different color this time. I'll do purple. Forty-five. That's why I can keep everything separate. Minus 22, two tens. 10, 20. 20, and then back two. One, two. Double check, two tens. 10, 20. Again, up. That means minus 10. Left is minus 1. 22, 10, 20, two ones. One, two. 45 minus 22 is equal to. 23. Go ahead and pause the video here and take a look at 82 and 61. 82 minus 61, 65 minus 21, 79 minus 47, 84 minus 6. And fill in the answer. Use your hundreds chart. If you need to get different crayons to do that, great. If you want to use your pencil form, great. Again, you're going to have to do four more on your own. Knock those out.
right now that you're back down here it's algebra it gets a little tricky write the digit and it makes each equation true so you're taking a look here this isn't just there's a couple ways different ways you can do this you can use addition to do it you can use subtraction to do it for I'm going to show you a couple different strategies because algebra is tricky especially missing add ends and tens places and ones places and we will take a look at this together 73 minus a, a number equals 41 hmm. so we know we need to get 241 from 73 I'm not going to use the hunters chart for this one. I'm just going to take the 41 and see how many tens it's going to take me to get this as close to it as I can to 73. So 10 is 51, 10 is 61, 10 is 71. So plus 30 is equal to 71. And 71 is very close to 72, which would be 70. 72, 73, which would be two more. So I've got plus 30 here, plus 2 here, 32 plus 41 is 73. So I added 10s, 51, 61, 71. I got close to, I needed to get from 41 to 73. And I could just subtract it on the hunter's chart. That's a way to add to get up to that number. Down here. Sometimes in algebra, when you get into higher levels of algebra, you need to clear out a side of, equa of an equation. So I've got minus 32 here. I can just add 32. We just got down with two units on. And minus 32 plus 32 cancel each other out, make zero over here. That's what we're looking for, clearing out a side and make a side zero. And I've got 30. 2 and 26, which we just did two digit plus two digit numbers. This doesn't even require regrouping. 6 plus 2 is 8. 3 plus 2 is 5. 50, 8. Minus 32 equals 26. That's using addition to solve that. Number 13. I'm going to use that 10 strategies again. I'm going to add 10 to it. I started with 15. I'm going to see how many 10s I can get me as close to it. 46 is I can. 10 is 25, 35, 45. Well, there's 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, 30. 15, 25, 35, 45. So that equals 45. 45 and 46, there's only one different, plus one more. So I've got plus 10, 10, 10 here, which is 30. And then one here, 30 plus 1 is 31. And you can do a quick check for subtraction to make sure 46 minus 31 equals 15 with 3 tens, 1 tens is 4, 1 and 5 is 6, 46. There's your quick check. And this one's nice. This one's not even algebra because you're not missing a missing add in here. Seventy eight minus 36. Just use the hunters chart. Start at 78 up here. We'll go orange. Going back 36. 10, 20, 3. And then 6 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have them color coded so I can tell which one's which. If you just have all pencil marks up here, it'll get very confusing. So I started at 76, hopped up 3, which is minus 30. 10, 20, 30. And then back six, one, two, three, four, five, six, which equals 42. So you have two more you can do down here together on your own. 53 minus something is equal to 31. My, my suggestion to you is take 31 and find your tens. Once you get your tens, then you add your ones, which would be here. That'll get you to 53. And then down here, same. Start at 16 and then tens. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. You can use the 100 chart up here to say, oh, 16. And I can start here with 16. And how many tenths is going to get me as close to 99 as I can get? Go ahead and take a minute, pause the video, knock these two out. You're missing a number in here. Use the tens, addition 10 strategy to solve.
On the back, I'll read it for you. You're going to be on your own. Again, I would just use this hunter's chart to answer all three. Darren's puzzle has 98 pieces. Darren fits 55 pieces together. How many more pieces does Darren still need to fit complete the puzzle? So you're going to use 98 and 55 and find a solution. Use the hunter's chart. Start with 98. Take away 55. A test has 86 questions. Glenda needs to answer 23 more questions to finish the test. How many test questions is Glenda answer today? 86 minus 23. Now you could stack them and you could add, subtract down the column for this, but we're using the hunter's chart. Use the strategy. Get a different color crayon. Show your work over here. Down here it says Chris wants to subtract 76 and 42. Write the steps. What would you do first? What would you do second? What would you do third? Here it says write the steps. One, two, three on the hunter's chart over here. So write this start at 76. Go back 42. Write how you would do it. We did a couple on the front. Down here, Lou has 75 buttons, 49 of the buttons are green. How many? The rest are red. How many of the buttons are red? 75 minus 49. Use the hundreds chart. It's going to be one of these answers. Show your work up here. Get done turning in, please.